be nice to nerds. Chances are you'll end up working for one. It's fine to celebrate success, but it is more important to heed the lessons of failure. Success is a lousy teacher. It seduces smart people into thinking they can't lose. Life is not divided into semesters. You don't get summers off, and very few employers are interested in helping you find yourself. We always overestimate the change that will occur in the next two years and underestimate the change that will occur in the next ten. Don't let yourself be lulled into an action. If you can't make it good, at least make it look good. Television is not real life. In real life, people actually have to leave the coffee shop and go to jobs. Before you were born, your parents weren't as boring as they are now. They got that way from paying your bills, cleaning your clothes, and listening to you talk about how cool you thought you were. So, before you saved the rainforest from the parasites of your parents' generation, try the losing the closet in your own room. I'm a big believer that as much as possible, and there's obviously political limitations. Freedom of migration is a good thing. I believe that if you show people the problems and you show them the solutions, they will be moved to act. Of my mental cycles, I devote maybe 10% to business thinking. Business isn't that complicated. Technology is just a tool in terms of getting the kids working together and motivating them. The teacher is the most important. Your most unhappy customers are your greatest source of learning. We all need people who will give us feedback. That's how we improve. As we look ahead into the next century, leaders will be those who empower others. I'm a great believer that any tool that enhances communication has profound effects in terms of how people can learn from each other and how they can achieve the kind of freedoms that they're interested in. I believe in innovation and that the way you get innovation is you find, research and you learn the basic facts. Everyone needs a coach. It doesn't matter whether you're a basketball player a tennis player, a gymnast, or a bridge player. I really had a lot of dreams when I was a kid, and I think a great deal of that grew out of the fact that I had a chance to read a lot. There is a certain responsibility that occurred to me when I got to this unexpected position. The most amazing philanthropists are people who are actually making a significant sacrifice. I was lucky to be involved and get to contribute to something that was important, which is empowering people with software. I believe the returns on investment in the poor are just as exciting as successes achieved in the business arena and they are even more meaningful. Whether I'm at the office, at home, or on the road, I always have a stack of books I'm looking forward to reading.